Shalom Makim, Brother Kamal Mahar here, back at it again. First things first, we give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Bashim, Rakak Wadash, double honors, apostles, and elders, and the truth from from GMS. Blessings to the Akimah, dear preachers, word with wholehearted true sincerity, and blessings to 144,000 on the one third, the first fruits kingdom of heaven, the house of David, the Biaf Dawadah, and Shalom to you brothers out there that speak in different tongues and look in different nations. Shalom. So today, um, um, meditating on the scriptures, kind of figure out what I, uh, Wanted to put up, and I wanted to uh, go into um, that the Most High and Yahweh are are two different two different people, but um, um, but predominantly that the Father is greater than um, Yahweh Shah. Because I know there's a lot of people who saying they're all all in one, like maybe like the Holy Trinity and things of that nature. Um, and they're all in one, which 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 what they're trying to say is that they're all in one accord. Like what it says, roughly paraphrasing, you know, I am the Father, and the Father is in me, or basically uh, paraphrasing that, it's just basically like all on one accord. Like you know, what I'm saying that'd be like um, uh, when a football team will say, you know, when we play as one, we 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 can really, or when we play as a team and we all play together and we all be be with each other on one accord, we can have the best chance to win. He was speaking more or less on that on on those lines, not like this holy trinity and things of that nature. And you know, got to seem like you know they're all they're equal and they're all in one accord. That that's not what it is. Um, the Father Yahweh, which means He is to be exists in Hebrew, is the heavenly Father, the Creator, the Most High, which is the which is He has no no partner. He's the greatest of all. And nobody else is um, next to him, and also, um, um, and also Yahweh Shah, which is the only begotten son of Yahweh, which Yahweh Shah means he is he he um, deliverer, and he's the savior of the nation of Israel, um, deliverer, um, and there are two different bodies, so uh, um, two different people, two different bodies. Even though Yahweh Shah is a split image and looks like his, fa his father, but. Um, Yahweh Shah and Yahweh are not on the same accord. You know, Yahweh is definitely powerful, more powerful, and he is the Don Dada, the king, and the the CEO or the man on the top of the food chain. Nobody else is dealing with that. And Yahweh Shah will even say it himself. My first precept I want to do is uh, I want to get into Mark 10. 10 and uh, 18 and then there's a lot of other scriptures um that i'm, I'm a pr probably miss out on um that's that can really help me out but um through the spirit of power you how about you you know i'm pretty sure i can you know the scriptures that i can think of where i got down they'll deal get to this point um and it says and yahweh said unto him why callest thou me good and there is none good but one and that is the most high yahweh so so there you go right there when you read that that's that's um it's not possible two things so now if he's saying that he's saying that why well, call me good and there is none good but one but the most high so it's like okay so now he's separating himself that's like saying you know and i'm gonna be kind of speaking in layman's terms throughout this video because it's this is this is what you this is not allegory or dark sayings in the scriptures. This is this is verbatim. This is one person to a next. So it's not like spiritual where you gotta think about it hard because you know the prophets of the servants know the secrets of the book. This is not one of those secrets. This is just verbatim. So the the uh, Yahweh Shah is saying that I'm not good, but there's only one that's good. That's the Father. That's the Most High. So there you go. That's a separate situation because he's not talking about himself. You know what I'm saying? He's basically like, you know, if that was the case, he would be talking like, yeah, I, I'm not, I, I, what you had to say, I'm good and I'm not good. It, it, it is be very confusing and, and it very be, uh, it'll be really disrupted in order to understand the scriptures when the Mosai says he's not a father of confusion. Um, let me go to Matthew 24 and, um, get more, you know, um, that might not uh been too much of a punch. It says, uh, but Matthew 24 and 36, but of that day and hour knoweth no man, 
not the angels of heaven, but my father only. So now, so now this is Yahweh Shah speaking about the day of the Lord. Whenever he, whenever the Most High is going to send Yahweh Shah to be able to do the judgment of the Lord in general. So now you got to look at it from that perspective, and that's also in hierarchy scale. If you the man and you, and then y'all on one accord, he doesn't need to be sent. You can do, you can send somebody else or whatever. If you are the man or whatever, but it's a hierarchy scale where the Yahweh Shah himself, who the man they call Jesus Christ. Um, is saying that um, that no man knows no man knows the day of the hour of the day of the Lord or even when Yahweh is going to send Yahweh Shah and the angels to do his thing. So he don't even know when is he, his father is going to send him Yahweh. He don't even know that. So that's a clear cut right there because if they're one in the same or the Holy Trinity. Or if it was just like, you know, you know, all, all, all in one, then you would know the actual day of hour because you are him and he is you and all different other things that nature. So that lets you know that there's um, someone more powerful than Yahweh Shah because there's not what they say. Uh, knowledge is power or uh, knowledge is power, because if if I know how to if i know secrets of things about somebody and I, I and i know a lot of things that can benefit a situation and another person beside me doesn't know that gives me power over them because of the knowledge that i have that they lack that's power it really is think about um if i knew how to build a home from you know like carpentry or masonry and i knew how to you know build a, um, a whole establishment and we're living in the wilderness. The chances of me surviving and you're not is multiplied by trillions because you, you you got the you got the seasons and the weathers. You need shelter. You need a place to lay your head. You know, go to the bathroom. Well, you know, if you're in the wilderness, you can go to the bathroom. But you got the winter, the heat. There's a lot of there, there's a lot of elements of seasons that can that can harm the, a person because of non shelter. So if I know how to build and you don't. I'll be living and you won't. That's power. That's a great power. I will survive way more than you would. And that knowledge is power over you. You see what I'm saying? So in this case scenario, Yahweh is the only one that knows the day, the hour. And Yahweh Shah don't know. So that lets you know who's greater than who. That's a clear cut right there. Yahweh Shah is the what they call Jesus Christ is a King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and he's the he's the he's the Don Dada below Yahweh Shah. And I'm also uh, getting to that hierarchy scale too as well. Uh, matter of fact, let me get that now. Here is another clear cut. So that was a good one right there to let you know that there they are two different people, and you can't be two different people when one you can't be the same the same um, um, thing. If one knows information, the other doesn't. That's just okay. That's freaky. Um, let me see. First Corinthians. Uh, it might be eleven on this one. Yeah, it might be eleven. First Corinthians eleven, and uh, let me see. Uh, uh, mm. Okay, but if a woman, now I declare the visions. Is he, is he the 11 or 7? Uh, wait, wait, okay. Uh, off into bread, which whoever. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Um, it's a lock here, brothers. Am I in the wrong? I know it got to be. It's, it's, wait, wait, uh, Okay, yeah. First Corinthians eleven and three. So like it. Brothers probably see this video and be like, brothers, right there. Um, here we go. This is a, also a very clear cut to the whack with, with the apostle Gabar says, wacky techy Christians. I like that. Um, you know, they have no knowledge, they don't even read the scriptures, and the precepts is what's supposed to guide you, and that that's the precepts is the thing that's supposed to, you know, make the man um valuable, which is the value is the scriptures, and they don't even get into it. It's crazy. Um 
Here's another, uh, here's a hierarchy scale. Now, this is probably, I could probably be done this video uh, right after uh, this particular um, preset. And I could probably just close it off right here. But uh, let me get into it. First, what, First Corinthians 11 and 3. It says, but I would have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai. Boom. Absolutely. We pray to the Lord. We pray to the pray to Yahweh via Yahweh Shah because Yahweh Shah is a sacrificial lamb and he's the one that gave us repentance to Israel to give us an opportunity in grace period to opportunity to go back to the Lord. Yahweh Shah is the key. And so for, so the head of every man is Yahweh Shah. And then it says, and the head of the woman is the man and the head of of Yahweh Shai is the most high Yahweh. There you go. So it's not on one accord. I mean, it's not, they're not of the same entity. One is greater than the other. Is Yahweh, it's Yahweh, and then Yahweh Shai. Uh, why do you think we say Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which is Yahweh, he is to be exists in the name of Yahweh Shai, because through Yahweh Shai is how is the name you need to be calling, call on the, on the name of the Lord through the name of Yahweh Shai in order to be delivered. It got to be in that order. But it says the head of Yahweh Shai is the most high, which means that is a greater thing than him, because the head of you, like the head of every person. Um, is Yahweh Shai, but on like a on, on a worldly sense, the head of the, every person will be the father. The father, because why do you think the why do you think lineages and bloodlines is through the sea line of the father? Because the the head of the son is the father. So it's the father that governs the, the, the children. He's the big homie. He's the one and he's the he's the father's house. So the head of every man is Yahweh Shai, and the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh. I can kill it right there. It's a whole hierarchy scale. That alone will let you know that this is not the same thing. There are two different people and one is stronger than the other. Flat out. John uh, 14 and uh, 28. This is Yahweh Shah uh, speaking again. It says, you have heard now, I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you loved me, you will rejoice because I said, I go unto the father for my father is greater than I. I can also kill this video with that verse, which is Yahweh Shai, who the man who they call Jesus Christ, um, says it himself that there is a person higher than him. So how is it possible to be two different, two people on the same all in one, like a holy trinity all in one. First things first, there's knowledge that, that the Most High has that Yahweh Shah doesn't have. And he also saying that, um, that, um, that, that my father is greater than I. So he just told you that there, 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 there's a stronger force over him, which just lets you know this is ain't allegory. This is, this is, isn't dark sayings. This isn't some type of riddle or a parable or different things of that nature. This is just straight out. Is it, this is just straight out? Like the 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 floor is a brown color. There ain't no your interpretation, nor is another thing. No, it said that the floor is brown. I had to get really lame with that one, but that's exactly what's going on right here. The Yahweh Shah says that my Father is greater than I. I'm gonna read it again. John 14:28. You have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. And if you love me, you will rejoice because I go unto the Father. So now he's even, even in that standpoint, is obviously in the, in the context of this particular, and I hate that word too when it comes to two thirds of heathen, when it comes to the context word. They be like, oh, you read now out of context. Okay, that, that, that sometimes that frustrates me. But even a, 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 a dumb man can read this and see that. You, you 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 obviously are going to go unto the father or you, you know, I'm going to go I'm going to go unto my brother's crib. That means that means at a point in time I wasn't with my at my brother's crib, but I'm going to finally go unto my my brother's crib, which means I'm I'm going to go to a place where another person is. That's another cut. And then it says for my father is greater than I. That's that's just flat out what that is. Yahweh shy is 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 a lower level than Yahweh, and they're not on the equal chord. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shai is Yahweh, and then Yahweh Shai, and then it's the man, and then the woman, and then the children. That's what it is. 
Hebrews. Um, oh man, my phone been uh, it's a lock here, brothers. My phone been really ah, uh, uh, my phone has really been uh, doing me uh, really harm lately. I'm I'm really struggling, brothers, on um my phone. It's it's pretty much shot down. Um I I damaged it very uh ah it's a lock here, brothers. Ah man, this is uh this is tough. Yeah, this is this is gonna be rough. I'm gonna try um one more one more thing. Uh this is so lock here, brothers. Hold on for one second. Hopefully the video doesn't um oh man. This is tough. Oh man, this is Satan. This is not good. Oh man, it's a lock, it, brothers. This is rough. One second.